guys welcome back to my channel so first things first i just want to show you guys my website i did update it did a new little theme here as y'all can see i know it's loading kind of slow but yeah so i just want to show you a couple of new things that i have on my website so make sure you guys do check it out so as you can see here these are just my general stuff that i've always had you know the intros the outros banners and all that good stuff but i also have added custom subscribe pop-ups that you can have i have social media flyers um business cards and i have editing packages as well if you want me to edit a video for you um so those are a couple things that i have on there that are new and then if you go to shop you can see that i have a chat with mo where you can talk to me about your channel or any design tips um, and then I have my editing course and I have an AirPod vendor as well. So the editing course I told you guys about last week, I believe. It's currently $30 rest of this week and then it's going to go back to regular price. So I just wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, I'm showing you guys how to edit on Filmora, how to make an intro there and how you can, you know, start your graphics business by making intros. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So as you can see in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mock-up. So to make my mock-ups, this is the website that I use. It's called Place It. I've worked with them before. This one is not a sponsored video. I'm just, you know, telling you all about it because this is what I use. And they have tons of free mock-ups on here. Um, but if you did want to get the full version, which is what I use, I do have a discount for you guys um, in the description box through the link. But y'all, like, they have so much here. Like, anything and everything you want. To do a mock-up on they have it here so i would certainly recommend this website to you guys this is the one that i've used for my website as well for any mock-ups that you see on there and then for clients that i've made mock-ups for um this is what i use as well so there we have it um i'm gonna be making a flyer mock-up let me just log into my account but um i'm gonna be making a flyer mock-up a um thank you card um design so i'm going to show you guys how i make that and then i'm going to show you guys how i put it into one of these mock-ups here and then you know you could post it on your website um or um if it's your product you know you could promote it and stuff so yeah um let's go ahead and get into it these are the options that they have as for flyers and they have many others um if you didn't want a flyer it could be anything you guys so these are the options they have here and they look really nice very professional so let's go ahead and get into it so the first app i'm going to be using right now is canva um i really love canva this is an amazing app um, for design tools so i'm gonna go ahead and do an insta am i gonna do no i was gonna do an instagram post but i don't want it to be square i want it to be rectangle shape so i'm gonna put in thank you card um thank you thank you card um and then it's going to show me the template for that and then i'm just going to choose one of the random ones here and i'm just going to delete the um background i really could have just chose a blank one but yeah i'm just going to delete the um elements that they have here this one is actually a really cute one though can't lie but um yeah so I'm going to be importing my images and putting a background there. I did have to re-record, so I do apologize for that. But um, I'm going back into Canva again. And I like pink, as y'all can see. Like, pink is just everywhere on my channel, on my intro. So, yeah, I'm going to import the images that I have. So these three photos these pinks I was choosing between those three pinks and then these three um hair images I got from Instagram I'm gonna be using this because it's gonna be like a hair company thank you card so I'm putting in this background I like this one right here it's kind of like a like different gradient of pink splotches on here um so I'm using that putting that in the background and then I'm gonna be adding in my three photos um and I'm going to erase the background. So you just press effects there at the bottom. Um, and then once you press the effects, I passed it. But once you press the effects, you should see background remover or you'll just type it in. Um, I was also trying to do a shadow, but it wasn't showing up. So I guess maybe on the computer you have more options than on your phone. But you can do the same thing on your computer as well. 
but I'm just showing you guys on the phone. Um, so I'm just positioning it where I want it to be. I want it to be in the corner. And then I'm going to do that for the next two images. Remove the background. And it does a really good job. If you wanted to, like, you know, um, clean up a little bit more, I believe that option is also on the computer as well. Um, where you could, like, line it out a little bit more. Parts that you wanted to um, get rid of a bit. Um, like, especially for this photo, I wanted to do that. But I wasn't seeing that option here. So I'm just assuming that on the phone I didn't have that um, opportunity. But... It's okay, it still turned out really nice. I wanted to do a drop shadow as well, but I couldn't find it. So um, if you did that, I think it would make it look more like, have more dimension, I, I feel like. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting these photos together. I kind of want it to be one different, like turning to the other side. So I am going to do that. But here I'm just trying to figure out how I want the pictures to be. Which one do I want to be first, second, and last? And then I'm going to flip one so it's kind of um, the picture is kind of inward, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, you see me just doing that here. And I'm lining it up. I like how Canva like shows you like how everything makes everything to be like very precise. I like that a lot. Um, so I don't have to worry about if it's in the right place and stuff. So yeah, I just flipped it here horizontally so that, you know, it looks more together to me. So we have that. This is when I told you I'm trying to look for the drop shadow, but it just was not showing up. Um, I did a little bit, tried to background erase again to see if it would like clean it up a bit more, but that wasn't working. But um, yeah, I wasn't able to find a shadow, but that's okay. I think it still looks good like this. And then after I do this, um, I'm going to add some more images, some text. Could not spell shadow, but yeah, I couldn't find it, so it's okay. So let's go ahead and add the rest of our content to the screen. So I'm going to be adding in some, um, a border, like a little, I wanted a silver glitter border, so I'm going to put that at the top. And I like that one there that has pro on it. I do have the pro version of Canva. Um... It's definitely, I definitely recommend it because if you're a graphic designer like myself, um, you will certainly need the pro version, or at least I feel like it. you get more out of it. Um, so then after that, I'm adding in my text. I'm using the first one and I'm just going to put thank you here and I'm going to put it in white and I want it in bold and caps. I meant I want it in caps. So that's what I'm going to be doing for all my text is going to be in caps. So I have it here, and I feel like white will look really good here. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the size, and I'm going to um, change the font um, as well. And you'll see that I'm going to add a effect too. So the font. I really like a bold font. Like this one right here, I like it. It kind of reminds me of the Bebas font, but um, it's a little bit different. So I went ahead with this, and then I wanted to have a little shadow in the back, so I'm going to do that as well. Hold on, you guys. All right, you guys. So now I'm putting in a shadow. I wanted to have, you know, a little drop shadow behind there, so I got this one right here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and press... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to add another title, but I want to add another border. So I'm going to go ahead and search for another silver, but I'm going to look for a chrome type of look. Um... So let's see. So I'm going to choose that one over there, the second one on the left. But I was just looking to see if they had any others, but I wasn't seeing anything that I liked. So I'm going to go ahead with the first one. All right. So now I'm going to just make it smaller so that it fits to how I want it to be. All right, so this part I'm going to put for shopping with us with the exclamation point at the end. And I'm going to, I believe I'm going to keep the same font, but I'm going to do a different effect to it.
All right, so yes, so we're gonna go to effects and then here are all the, all the effects that they have. I'm gonna go with this one that says shadow. I did like couple of, uh, I did like a couple of these other ones too. I'd even try the neon one, which I think would have looked really cool. But um, I do like this one right here, so we have that. And then I'm be, I'm gonna be adding one more text, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some other graphics to this. So I'm gonna add some palm trees. Give it like a nice tropical type of feel, summer vibe to it. So we're looking at all our options here. Now I kind of wish I did another color for the palm trees. Um, or if I went on Pixar, I feel like Pixar had better um, palm tree images on there as well. But I still kept with Canva. I'm trying to, you know, not use too many apps. But I'm going to be using Pixar still um, to add in something else here. So I went in with this leaf here that you see. I don't know why it wasn't showing at first, but it's gonna show, it's gonna pop up. And then I'm just gonna rotate it and, you know, change the positioning and all that. And then I'm going to be moving it to the background. And to do that, you just choose position. I believe it's towards the back. Yeah, so backward. Like that. And then I'm going to add one more text. And then um, you could also put your logo here too um, to your business here. That's where you would want to do that as well. But this one is just like, you know, it's just a um, sample image that I'm doing. So. That's why I didn't put one here. Um, so this line, I wanted to be thicker, but it wasn't doing that. So I'm going to hit and delete that and just search for one. So I'm going to use that one over there, but I'm going to get rid of the, um, the, um, that search symbol there. Uh, I just wanted this part and then I'm just going to put stay connected there and some black, um, the smaller subheading text. And then I'm going to add some diamonds and then we're going to go ahead and make the, put this in a mock-up. Adding another effect to this text because I don't want it to be just um, I want it to have like some you know depth to it I'm um, changing the font again here I'm gonna use this one here kind of wish I use a thicker font but I think it's okay still I did have to make the sides a bit smaller so that you could see most of it which makes it look really small so I probably would do a bolder text um, if you are doing this kind of style but I went ahead and did an effect with it, and I feel like that might that helped a bit. Um, so I'm gonna do that one lift, and then we have that. So I want to add diamonds, like some falling diamonds to it. But when I was searching here on Canva, I wasn't finding what I was looking for. Um, so I felt like if I use one of these image, I'd have to um, erase the background on it. I didn't feel like it was gonna have the same effect, like that one there with the white background. I didn't feel like it was gonna look the same. Um, so I went ahead and just decided that I'm just going to save this image here and then go into Canva to add the diamonds because I know I would find a nice one on there. Um, so yeah, so I keep looking here, I keep looking, I keep looking, but I did not find what I wanted. So we're going to just get rid of this or go to the next app because I was not finding what I wanted here. Um, so yeah. Go ahead and save this, download it. It'll save to your camera roll. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into Pixar. And this looks really cute. I really like this a lot. It's very cute. Okay, 
so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here go into pix art I put pick pin instead but okay we're gonna go ahead and open it up and scroll to sticker click on sticker and then I just put diamonds falling and yeah perfect that one right there the first one I like that it's gonna put that here and you can like erase some of it if you don't want all those diamonds I'm gonna do that for one of them I just duplicated it and then you can see right here I have it like that I'm gonna move the other one down a little bit because I'm going to erase it erase that one covering the eye and then a couple of them covering your hair so we just erase those check mark it and our flyer thank you card is done all right now so we're gonna go into place it now and then I'm gonna place this on what I want it to be on um so here are our options and I believe the one I'm gonna do is where is it um you're just gonna see when I click on it but it's gonna be that one that says mock-up of two horizontal I'm gonna press edit this template and then you're going to add your images upload your images so here is where you change the background I just skipped over to graphics so I can just do that part first and then it's gonna open it up and choose it and then here you'll, you'll crop it to how much of it you want to show when I first put it in I would realize that you could see a little bit of the white there and I didn't want that so I went ahead and resized it and just zoomed in a bit um, because the dimensions are probably weren't exactly the same as what it shows there so you can use that for reference as well to make sure that it's exactly the same and then I'm gonna go ahead and upload the same one on the next one of course if you have another side to your thank you card like a um, a on um, my back um, you could upload that to the second image so then we have that and then I'm gonna go over to the colors and change the background and I want it to be like I want it to be close to the pink that you see there I ended up going with one of those colors but I kept trying around to see what I liked the best but yeah y'all that is definitely that's basically it that's how you make a mock-up how I made the flyer design I hope you guys enjoyed the video learned something new let me know what else y'all would like to see Make sure you guys check out my editing course on my website. I'm going to make another one for Final Cut Pro since I got that axed as well. So go ahead, feel free to give me your video request. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Here is how the mock-up looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.